Surf shark. Surf shark. Surf shark. Surf shark. Surf shark. Surf shark. We are sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Yes. What, what is VPN? A VPN is a virtual private network and the Surfshark VPN allows you to encrypt all the data that goes between your device and the internet so that your data is safe oh, yeah. and allows you to change the location of your device so you can virtually travel wherever in the world. Okay, and so changing, changing my geographic location, uh -huh. what exactly can I do when I do that? Well, you know, you, say you want access to all your favorite shows, or say you're one of our Latin American fans, right? And you don't have access to the third season of our show on Netflix or... Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus. You can literally change your IP address to an American or United States IP address, and you can get our awesome show and watch Ned Mose and Cookie mm -hmm. all the time, wherever mm -hmm. you go. Right. And if I were traveling abroad, but I wanted to stay and watch my Netflix shows, my US shows, I can change that location, and then I'm getting all of my favorite shows. It's a beautiful thing. If I were to ask you to go through your search history right now, mm -hmm. on a scale from one to 10, how nervous would you be? Not at all, because I use Surfshark. Mm -hmm. I'm personally a huge fan of the BBC, and you can't always access all the BBC shows in the US. I use Surfshark VPN, I change my location to the UK, and then I get all my BBC shows, Sherlock, Luther, uh, The Peaky Blinders. Blinders. You, here's a tip, use Surfshark VPN. Everybody's favorite early 2000s computer genius agrees. Yeah, now would Cookie use mm -hmm. a VPN? I believe he would have created some of his own VPNs, but when he came across Surfshark, he definitely would have switched over. Surfshark is offering you an extra three months free by using code NEDSPOD at checkout. N-E-D-S-P-O-D. There's a 30 day money back guarantee, so there is no risk to trying it out. Link is in the description, guys. Can Why can't you say this? So Link is in the description. Link is in the description, guys. It's in the description below. Virtual Private Network, brought to you by Surfshark. Get it today. It was kind of a shark. <laughs> a bird shark. A... Welcome back, back, listeners, watchers, viewers, Ned heads, mm -hmm. Patreon supporters. We love you. Um, welcome back to the Ned's Declassified Podcast Survival Guide. We have a very special guest in studio today. Yeah. Other than Coconut Head, this is our most requested guest. The man. The man, the myth, the legend. Janitor Gordy himself, Darren Norris. <laughs> Let go. Hi, Darren. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> 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 Wait, are we rolling already? Yeah. Rolling. Okay, rolling. hi. Yeah, yeah. Hey, okay. That was Sorry. usable. That wasn't <laughs> Sorry. Rehearsal. That was real. We're rolling for real now. <laughs> Dude. Hey, Darren. Uh, hi, you. Hi, everybody. Oh, hi. my word. This is bizarre. So Isn't it? weird. <laughs> Isn't it? So, I got to say. I just want to ask, before yeah. we start, I want to say, Lindsay, when are you going to grow a beard? <laughs> yeah, you guys Thank them. you. Um, I'm, yeah. I, you know, I, I've been trying. But Join the club. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, you too. Sorry, I'll, I'll just come to your yeah, club. No beard. Yeah, where's I your can't. beard? I can't. I can't. You don't I'm, have the I'm genetics for it, huh? I'm physically incapable of it. And Got I'm it. jealous of everybody that right. can do that. So. Really? Well, yeah. we can patch together hair from other places. Yeah. Like, I'm going <laughs> That's true. That's I know like you can get a mustache. Yeah. You can get a mustache in there. And I don't color stuff. my hair yet either. But. It, it looks so nice. good. Yeah. Still don't. Yeah. Sexy. It looks It looks nice. You got that George Clooney vibe going. Silver Daddy. Great. Like okay. It. Hey, cool talking with you guys. Hey. <laughs> and, uh, Anyways, see ya. <laughs> Disgusting. Bye, guys. <laughs> see, he didn't come in studio, guys. He's, he's too cool for <laughs> yeah. us. Um, yeah, so, yeah, why why aren't you in studio with where, us? Where are you today, yeah. Darren? Where are you? I'm in, I'm in an undisclosed bunker. Cool. In, in, the pandemic in was rough, Texas. huh? Texas. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. very cool. When did you move there? We, mo uh, we moved in 2019. And uh, yeah, it's a little tiny town. It's Ray's hometown, and uh, we opened a dance school, performance performing arts school, nice. uh, in September of 2019, and immediately shut it down. No, <laughs> COVID, COVID, dang. This is going to be great. We're going to inspire so many so people. Exciting That's beginnings. Right. Bring this is theater. Be awesome for the community and everyone, and shut it down. Shut wow. it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. Uh, but it's going great now. So it's going great. Yeah. Oh, good. So uh, it's back up and yeah. and out there. Good. Yeah. How yeah, do I get a scholarship right. to, to this school? Wait, is it a high school or is it a... 
Yeah, there's there's an either. audition process. There's, yeah, an, audi there's oh, an audition process. I won't make it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, I don't want to get your hopes up. Yeah, that's all day. yeah, yeah. I don't got the moves. <laughs> you were a realist, if anything else, Darren. <laughs> Always a realist. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> so, man, when so I got to call Darren a couple weeks ago to set this up, and we hadn't I hadn't seen you or talked to you in years, man. Years. Wow. A lot of life yeah. has gone by, and yet talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> felt like I was right back on set. Like it, it, it was crazy. It felt so good. I had a smile on my face for a week, and it just reminded me. Like I was a kid on the show, and we all worked together. It was this great fun time. But then, like the show ended, and we all like broke apart, and life moved on really fast, and all of that just kind of like happened. But talking to you again, I was like, wait. Darren Norris was my friend. Like we were <laughs> buddies on the show. Like you weren't like yeah. you weren't like my coworker that like I like to work with. You were my <laughs> fucking buddy. Mm. Yes. And oh, we can swear on this. Yes. 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 Okay, we can great. say yeah. anything we want. I'm just gonna make up some swear words. Yes, I don't care. baby. <laughs> um, but that's yeah. the truth, man. That's the truth. When you when I saw it was you calling. I just, I dropped everything and I picked up the phone because if this is like some prank, I'm going to be unhappy. And it was, you. <laughs> and, uh, it was it's just fantastic to hear your voice and talk with you. And uh, and now we get to do this, you know, which is nutty. Isn't so it Yeah, weird? we were buds. We were buds because uh, it was just, that's how it, that's how it went down, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to go down like that, but, uh, but we were pals and we'd mess around and joke around and never treat you guys as anything but equals or, you know, uh, and, uh, and you were, I mean, in every respect, you guys were absolute pros and so much fun to work with. And I mean, cause I made, I, cause I still haven't been paid for the show. But, uh, <laughs> us either. Us either. Devin, <laughs> Devin came in after talking to you and was like, and you'll never know, guess who I talked to Darren. Darren, Darren's coming on the show, you guys. Da like, you know how excited Dev gets and his little thing. Um, well, like, Gordy, too, like, we had s all of our, our characters, characters yeah. got to do so many gags oh, yeah. and bits and missions together and, like, really physical <laughs> shit. So that's also what I remember is us, like, getting to really create how are we going to do this? How are we going to make this funny? Like, there was, like, a working relationship, too, of, like, yeah. all right, how are you going to come in? How are we gonna right. make this slapstick? Like there oh, yeah. was On that the discussion. Spot, you would always yeah. go ahead and like, okay, this is what we gotta do. Like it was a nice little planning session right before the scene, man. You were so locked in. <laughs> Loved it. Loved those. That's be that's because they we shot so fast they wouldn't let us rehearse. <laughs> <laughs> We were on a budget. We were on a budget. That night guy. Yeah. No With way. We're a, a time is money, man. Shoot it. Shoot that it. Part. That part. <laughs> no, but it's true. But that's the but that's that creative process where we get to go, okay, we know what's on the page. Mm -hmm. How are we gonna make this physically work and and uh, uh and it was great. I mean, mm -hmm. just yeah. to be genuinely part of that creative process was so much fun. It was oh, yeah. so much yeah, fun. Yeah, didn't you make up the night guy gag? Wasn't that you? The I'll let the night oh, guy get it? Or was that a Scott Fellows? I think that was a Scott Fellows. Okay. I think the Scott came up with the night guy. I love yeah. that running <laughs> gag oh. of just like I'll let the night guy get it. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a great that was a great runner. I don't work too hard. Uh, Scott Fellows who is the reason I haven't been paid for the Ooh. show. Ooh. Yeah. The culprit. Yeah, Ooh. he still owes me money. He owes me a lot of money. <laughs> now, he yeah. called you a liar. And he makes... So... Well, he makes a lot of promises and a lot of statements that aren't tr that aren't true. <laughs> so right? he's the liar, not uh, you. And he doesn't follow through on there. Ooh. Well, what would you do if you were a liar? you call someone else a liar. Right. right? Hey. I know you are, but what am I? Mm. A, th a thief is what you are. <laughs> You're a complete thief. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I no, okay. I love right. it. We have to come on no. together. You got to get Scott and I on no, together. No, I so. love it. Please talk all the shit. Um, <sighs> because you worked with Scott on Fairly Odd Parents pre Ned's Declassified. Yes, nice, nice. So you yes. know what a terrible person he is to work for. Oh, <laughs> if you don't know by now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And and did he? Is that how they met? Is that how you guys met on Fairly Odd Parents, or when did you guys meet? Yeah, he was a writer. He was a writer oh, on Fairly Odd Parents. Okay. Yeah, nice. yeah. Wow. And, a, and an awfully good writer, man. Oh, that guy yeah. is Skilled. the hardest working man in show business. He He's really so is. sharp. And he man. knows funny. He yes. knows funny. And when he approached me, uh, I had to audition for the you know for the show for the pilot, uh, which is just kind of funny because he wrote it for me, but I still had to audition <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So it's one of those things where it's like, 
okay, this is literally yours to lose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if you blow this right now, yeah. this is all, you're going to feel horrible for the rest of your life. <laughs> it's written for you. It's your jokes. It's your tone. Yes. Dang. We came up, yeah, Scott you- and I came up with a backstory for Gordy. He was rich. He had a, uh, right? He had this whole, uh, this whole backstory where he had a, he was like a trust fund baby. And, but he could only access it if he worked a, a regular job. <laughs> nice. That is, is uh, so good. I wish we got to pepper that in more. more it it yeah. is in there a bit. There's like an episode where like, I, I couple, remember yeah. knock on the closet and you're like in, in a, a tux. tux you're yeah. like in a yeah. full on tux. And like, it's just like, he's just like, don't ask really about quickly. it or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, it was some party. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some party. Yeah. That was it. Jeez. You know, yeah, one of, as I remember, I remember. Yeah. W- one of the big lines uh, that I, people always, and it's it's its own kind of like meme, like it's a cult classic for people. It's um the line where Cookie comes in to the janitor's closet and he's like, hey, uh, Gordy, do you think Lisa Zemo's hot? And then your response is, I can't answer that due to the fact that I'm 40. <laughs> <laughs> they love that one. They love that one. And so just so it's a great, gags I remember reading that and going, okay, this is this is maybe the funniest thing yeah. I've ever yeah. had on this show for a yeah. long time. The uh-huh. internet agrees. The internet agrees. Uh, yeah, I can't answer that because I'm 40. 40. <laughs> <laughs> and we could get away with it, you know, which was great. Uh, and I don't know if you could now. I'm sure you could. But. I'm sure I you could because it's the right it's the right response. Yeah. Like that's yeah. such a funny yeah. joke is, is we do go to Gordy for advice or just to bring him into our, our stuff. And scheme, Daniel yeah. asking yeah. you that is like, that's no, where the yeah. boundary Draw the line is. There. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't yeah. ask me yeah. if she's yeah. hot. In the, in the, in the spelling bee episode is where I saw Gordy and Moe's kind of connect for the first time to, cause she's sitting by the moderator and Mr. Gross. And just the way I grabbed you, it just reminded me of that camaraderie. And like, we were, anything was possible. And like, I, I saw how comfortable I felt with you, um, you know, and to create those big things. I forgot how much Moe's and Gordy connected too. It was, it was just a trip. Yeah, it was a trip, and we all had that. You know, we all had that connection. But yeah. uh, you're right, As, and because uh, not because of, but we're all fearless. You guys were fearless on that show, and so I knew I could trust you, and you could trust me. And if something, you know, happened, we were gonna we we're gonna get it. We're what we're gonna get it right. And yeah, uh, yeah it's like don't you don't ring, don't tap the bell. Ring mm-hmm. it. Ooh. Uh-huh. Ring, ring it. Ring it. Man. Yeah, yeah. Real. Yeah. Oh, That's real. such a good note i mean for life but for comedy especially for performance don't tap the bell yeah and smack yeah. that mm-hmm. shit. Mel, mm-hmm. i believe that's mel brooks yeah mm, wow. that's so good yeah um mm-hmm. yeah what what else do you re- like i it's been so long like we each we each forget a lot from that time but but it's funny what details kind of still stick and are in there yeah. Um, not even from the stories themselves, like this, not even from the episodes, but just from the time on set. Um, what, what, what still resonates with you from that time in our lives? Oh man. Well, it's, it, it's, I was so busy when we were shooting Neds. We were still doing Fairly Odd Parents. Oh, uh, Neds, not every day, but you know, yeah. a lot. Yeah. And we were filming Veronica Mars at the same time. Oh, geez, right. man. Yeah. A lot, but. Uh, that I got, but it got busier and busier. So I had barely had time to breathe. Wow. Uh, so I, re- I remember that. And I remember the days that I would come in and Gordy would have one little scene in the episode, right? Just one little bit. And it come in at 6 a.m. And I'd be out of there by 7.30 and everybody would be pissed at me. <laughs> 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 like the entire crew, everybody. It's like, hey, that's a wrap on Darren. And I'm like, oh, oh come wow. on. <laughs> <laughs> Three sets at once. To that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that is. That's a, a yeah. good time in your life, man. Yeah. Dang, you're on top. Yeah, of it. that was that was that was. I know. I I knew at the time. I go. You're gonna look back and though and on this and go. This is a heyday right here. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna uh-huh. look back on this time in your life and go. Yeah. This is it, man. Mm-hmm. Absorb it and 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 drink it all in because it's, yeah. it's not gonna happen again like yeah. this. Yeah, for yeah. the listeners that don't know, Darren uh, is the vo- many voices on the Fairly Odd Parents. Cosmo, mm-hmm. Timmy's dad, Jorgen von, von Strangle. Strangle. Right? Was that his name? <laughs> Jorgen von Strangle? Strangle. Strangler? Was that it? Don't make me prove it. <laughs> Whatever you do, 
I'm not going to be a voice monkey. <laughs> <laughs> you tell him, big guy. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Ooh, I'd listen to him if I were you. <laughs> Did you? Do I you love still? It so much. Do you still do voiceovers? All the time. Oh, yo, yeah, 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 nice yeah, setup. yeah, yeah. In yeah. fact, I don't know if I can talk about this, but Ooh. I believe there's a reboot in the mix. Oh, and we did a we did a live action uh, animation ha hybrid for mm. Paramount Plus. We did a, a bunch of episodes of Odd Parents. Amazing. Uh, I think last year they aired, and but it was on Paramount Plus, and uh, and now we're in the process of. Uh, Doing something new. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. So yeah, that's the show that the show that won't stay dead. It's Good. not that yeah. it won't die. It yeah. just will it not stay, stay dead. dead. I mean, yeah. and I'm so grateful, man. But we started doing that in we. I think we recorded the 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 seven minute short in 1999. Oh, wow, and then it got picked man. up, and then it got picked up in 2001. Is that when we aired? I think that's when we aired. Yeah, yeah, because I was definitely Ned's aired in two thousand four, and I was definitely a fan of Fairly Odd. Like I was watching Fairly yeah. Odd Parents um, before yeah. Ned. And then so. yesterday, I think was the twenty second anniversary of the first like airing of the whole. Wow, series man! So, wow, yeah. the longevity of some of these things. Even Ned's has been such a surprise. Like we couldn't have known getting off it that twenty years later it would still kind of have that's this right. impact yeah. with people and still kind of hold this place yeah. in their lives. Yeah. Yes. It's special it does, and yeah. weird. You oh. reminded me though of your part in Team America. <laughs> oh. Right? Oh. I totally forgot yeah. about that during the time we had we watched that and yeah. so I Oh yeah. Oh, you When such did you a legend, watch it? Man. When did you watch that? Well, like back, I mean, back, back in the, in the day, day, but man. I mean, like just you I watched just, it when it was inappropriate for you yeah, to watch. Yes, that. <laughs> yes. He reminded me of the other day that you were that iconic like leader of the pack. Uh, just yeah, I, I, I don't I'm even want to say out loud the one line of yours that that stays <laughs> with me <laughs> from that movie. Yeah, we'll probably skip that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. um, but how? Uh, but I, this is my other favorite. My God, his acting is better than ever. <laughs> <laughs> how was that working with Trey Parker and Matt Stone, man? I'm telling you, that was the. I mean, I've had a really great, fun, interesting, bizarre career with all sorts of tendrils all over the place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but that was, I've never been blown away by people like I was blown away by the two of them. Yeah. Relentless energy, relentless creativity. Uh, I auditioned for that role and I voiceover, right? And, but there was a camera in the room and I went, oh, well, okay, this is an on camera audition. That's fine. Uh, so I did that. And by the time I got to my car, they had called and said, go over to South Park Studios. You're going to record this afternoon. They were watching the video feed. Oh, right? and apparently they just went. Yeah, that guy. So, uh, yeah, off we went. I spent a day in the booth with uh, with Matt and Trey and we did nothing but laugh recording the original script. Uh, and then when they when everything changed and they wrote it, but but they kept me on, which oh, I'm forever grateful man. for. And nice. got to go to the set a couple of times. Wow. Uh, and we, we were, I think we were doing posts at three o'clock in the morning at Todd A.O. in uh, in Santa Monica. <laughs> and there's there's Trey wa walking through the halls, doing all the stuff he's doing, writing a song, coming in, listening to me, doing my <laughs> stuff. And then you go, OK, try this. All right, try this. All right, try this. Uh, OK, yeah. Good, good. Very good, Darren. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> and he would leave. Uh -huh. oh, the other gag from that is the other gag from that is the uh, if what something that if you fail or something you'll probably want to take your own life. Yeah. <laughs> You'd better have this, and he hands him a hammer with some duct tape on it. <laughs> and Trey was walking around with that hammer. <laughs> um, That's yeah. Funny. Yeah, for the listeners, the most creative guys. Yes. Yeah, for the listeners at home, it, it, Team America. If you haven't seen it, it's like this puppet <laughs> movie um, that is made by the creators of a South documentary Park. Documentary of hard government. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, made by the creators of South Park, <laughs> Trey Parker and Matt Stone, who are just like, just I, I watched that. Um, what is it? Seven days to air. It's like the documentary mm. about yes. how they make South Park and how yeah. run and gun. And everything's on them, and they're writing, editing the last episode, making the new one, doing the voices. Yes. It's mm -hmm. insane yeah. what these guys do, and the longevity. They're on HBO now, putting out yep. new episodes. Like, wow. yeah, dude. yeah. And they, but like I said, just boundless energy. They're, mm. they're yeah, just they're just relentlessly creative and mm. and super funny. Both of them, just 
amazing. They're amazing. Mm. And everything they've, I know we're, we're talking about them a lot instead of no, Nez. No, 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 I love no, it. No, I love it because I agree. Yeah. Everything that they've attempted, they have killed. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Agreed. The TV series, the movies, mm -hmm. Broadway, musical, Broadway, you name it. Book of Mormon. Yeah. Book, I mean, and I, I'm, if I hadn't known that it was them, I still would be the goofiest fan of that show because I, I mean, it's just brilliant. Mm. I auditioned. Absolutely. Yep. I auditioned yeah. for it. Um, but knew, oh. but knew I wouldn't get it. Yeah, for oh. the Broadway show, and I knew like this is not. <laughs> Dang, no. It's not me, guys. Mm. I felt so awkward in that audition. <laughs> There's a guy there playing piano. Like I'm like I kind of sing, but not like like this. Yeah. Yeah. Not like okay, yeah. and here we yeah. go. Do 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 do. No. Dude. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, yeah. 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 I I love them. It's so cool. You got to work with them. Did you ever do South Park? It is. No, no, I I never have. So you and, were terrible in Team America, is what you're saying? I was so bad. They went. <laughs> right. Never right. They bring this your, man back. Lost your contact. Wow. <laughs> that one voice, uh, one voice guy. Yeah, that's all he can do. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, I haven't. And I, that's just the way it goes. Yeah. You know, they do so many voices on the show, and they're so tight. For sure. It's tough for them to bring in other people. Right. I understand why they do all the yeah. voices. Yeah. Themselves. Yeah. yeah. Because they're just they're under such a time crunch and. And the other thing is that they can, they're yeah. good and they're funny yeah. and they're, you know, they want to. Absolutely. Performers, so yeah, they need yeah, it like right you? next to them watching that documentary, like how they made, if you've never seen uh, seven days to air, I think that's what it's called. Um, if you've never seen it, watch it. It's incredible how they make South Park. And yeah, it makes sense. They need someone like right next to them. They need someone like yeah. literally next to them because the way they're doing it. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Seven days to South Park, I think it's called. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And they have one of the most like iconic <laughs> Hollywood, just like legendary stories, which is them getting invited to the Oscars and going in dresses and <laughs> taking acid beforehand, and <laughs> being on the red carpet of the Morning. Oscars. Their joke was no matter what people ask them about wearing the dresses, they're not gonna reference it. They're just gonna say, it's just such a magical night. <laughs> so anytime, and you know the Oscars, they're on the red carpet. They got nominated, I think, for the South Park movie. And, um, yes. and yes. so there's so many interviews to do on the red carpet and it's just them going like, such a, people are like, so why are you wearing, they're in full gowns. Why are you wearing, it's just such a magical night. Everyone looks so wonderful. <laughs> it, it is legendary. That is, that is legendary. That is so something you would do. Yeah. Drop a whole bunch of uh, acid before. Yeah, mm -hmm. I give it up to them. I give it up to Scott Fellows, man. The older I get, um, and the more stories I hear about other sets or the more I'm on other sets, like the way Scott Fellows leads captains a ship and like leads a show, man. He sets such a tone of like family and fun and I just get more and more appreciative of it the, the older I get, man. Yes. Yep, I, I, I couldn't you couldn't put it better. He was born to do this. Yeah. yeah. You know, he yeah. would say, because hey, we're friends, you know, uh, yeah. even though he owes me money. Yeah, but he would, <laughs> uh, you know, and he would ask me, say, hey, how are we doing? You know, what are we doing? I said, dude, you know, you were born to do this. Mm -hmm. And you, but and the fact that it's you and Michelle, yeah, right. Yeah. And remember when the kids were on? Oh, when their my kids God. were on, and they were so tiny, <laughs> <laughs> little babies, so, little children. So, but you're right. Creating that atmosphere and knowing what he wants, no, you know, knowing exactly how he wants it to look and and go and stuff like that, and still get it in the can and still have it hold up and be funny and consistent and all that stuff. That's not easy. No. It's not it's not no. easy. And he's really great at it. Mm -hmm. well, and on top of that, like the on camera stuff and then off camera, uh, n like just so such a born leader, like, yeah. like off camera, making sure the set has a tone of, Hey guys, we're going to have fun making this. We got to get it done. It's a lot of hard work, yeah. but let's enjoy ourselves. Let's be respectful of each other. Like, he has this way behind the camera yeah. of like keeping it so silly and fun, but also yeah. like focused. He's he's just the best, man. Yeah, he is. And he's funny, you know. He's he funny. funny. He's yeah. funny. Right? So you could go over to him, uh, what at any at any point, and he would never say, "Yeah, not right now." Never. I know. Oh, no. No. What? Yeah. Never said that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, right? wow. Yeah. And I've been on shows where it's like, you, "I'm not going near Video Village." Absolutely. They don't see me back there, man. They do not want me coming around, hanging out. No, no, don't do it. Yep, but absolutely. on that show, yeah, totally different. You're yeah. right. Totally he just different. had such a um, a capacity for all of us. Yeah.
Like, yeah. And uh, uh, it's weird how time goes because, like, uh, you know, the, their kids, Scott and Michelle's kids, when we were filming Ned's, uh, felt we were, the cast was young, but their kids were like little babies. Yeah. And now yeah. time has changed. And now Charlie, <laughs> one of Scott and Michelle's kids, him and I overlap with a certain friend group and I see him at parties and we're like drinking mm. beers together. <laughs> It's insane. It's insane. You and Charlie Fellows. Me and Charlie Fellows, dude, end up at parties together. And he's like, oh, he's so like taller great. than me and like puts his hand on my shoulder and is like. <laughs> it's crazy. You guys have known each other forever. It's it, yeah, crazy. it's really, yeah. it's really wild and really like special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, what, uh, what, uh, did you want to know what else I'm doing? Oh, yes, or please. Did we cover yeah. that? Yes, love please. Yes, uh, everything. Please. What are you, what's your life? I've I've taken up uh, sewing. That's not true. I don't know why I, I don't know why I do this stuff. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> You're I'm, working, the liar, I'm working so much from home. It's crazy, and uh, uh, I have my own you know setup and booth and all this stuff, and it's nice. broadcast quality, even though you may not be hearing it now. But <laughs> sounds uh, pretty good coming through. So I've been as busy as I've ever been, you know, working here, and I'm directing uh, shows at the little local local community theater. Which nice. is a hoot. It's just a lot of work, and right. I'm loving it because it's such a huge creative outlet, and it gets me back to my roots. Of, you know, of doing that, and uh, we're killing it. the The organization is doing great. Yeah. What um, What show have you yep. put up, or are you going to be putting up? I'm uh, the one that's coming up right in the, like three weeks. is called the Red Velvet Cake War. It's by Jesse Jones, Nicholas Hope, and Jamie Wooten. Nice. Uh, I did. I directed another one of their shows last year called Double Wide Texas. They're sort of big, broad, southern fried comedies. Yeah. Uh, and they're set in Texas, or at least awesome. these two shows are yeah. set in awesome. Texas. So it was great. I oh. mean, it, it, was, it was just a hoot. It was really it, fun. Uh, it has to be amazing and, bringing um, community theater, or like, yeah, bringing community theater to a small town in Texas, too. Like, there's got to be people there who need that outlet, oh, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah. And they, when I got here and they asked me to be on the board, oh, man, my phone's been on, uh, <laughs> they didn't have a, a space. They did not have a building, and now we've been we've been doing such good work, and you know we we leased a space, and now we're going to be able to purchase that space. Um, wow. and it'll be nice. ours, and it'll be there forever, and uh, that's you know part of the whole legacy of this stuff. Awesome. And yeah, if it wasn't for that, I don't know what I'd do because it's <laughs> it's very it's very flat here. It's very flat. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for the flat, hey. uh, but I'm from a small town. My I grew up in Ferndale, Washington, and that had like 4,400 people, I think, when wow. I was there. But it also uh, had hills. <laughs> but it, yes, it was not flat. The <laughs> curves and that. There were mountains and hills and <laughs> Mount Baker and the Twin Sisters and oh, I could go on. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, yeah. So the small town thing hasn't isn't really a big deal for me. But uh, you know, you can't you can't live in LA for th years and not miss it, right? Yeah. Because I miss I miss people. I miss yeah. the people. I miss a lot of the restaurants. Yeah. Some of the you know shopping. How easy it is to get around. Yep. I'm I'm two hours from the airport. When I lived in my old house in Burbank, I was 10 minutes yeah. from the airport. It's like go anywhere, man. Yep. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Yeah. yeah. Bob Hope. Oh, take me to Bob Hope. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, it's different. There's lots of trade-offs and stuff, but man, I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't change it. Yeah. yeah. So um, I, I never know how to answer this, but I'm gonna put it to you and hope you have an answer for it. Uh, for for any listener or audience member out there who has an inclination towards the arts but hasn't taken a step in, like, what's your advice for um, getting into this life? For for getting into acting, for getting into voiceover, for whatever, following that that itch, you know, scratching that itch. Okay, that's a really great question, and it's, you know, it's a, and it's a common question. Exactly. And I have a tough time answering it too. That's why I'm right? putting it to you. <laughs> yes, because I knew when I was like when your age, when you were starting off in Nads, I kind of knew that that's what I wanted to do anyway, and I had no idea how to go about it. I didn't know anything. I didn't know anybody. And uh, uh, it's very easy for successful people to say, follow your dreams, pursue your passion, right? Because it's like, well, that's what they did. Boy, it worked out Jim Dandy for you, didn't it? Yeah. But, you know, there's no guarantee in this stuff, man. There's no guarantee. And it's not luck, but, it's, but it is good fortune to, you know, land a show like Fairly Odd Parents that runs for 20-some years, and we've done hundreds of episodes. That's so rare, though, you yeah. know? 
It's so rare. Yeah. I would, uh, I'm working. That's one of the things I get to do here. I got at least a couple people here that have real potential and I'm sort of mentoring them, mm. you know, and they're going to go to school and do it the right way because I didn't do it the right way. Mm. And <laughs> how did yeah. you do it? Did you just, did you just I move right to LA? Yeah. How did, you, and, how did you navigate? Oh man, I moved to LA. And like I said, I didn't know anybody. So, and I did theater. That's what I know. Right. And, uh, uh, I didn't know there was a thing that you could like voiceover. I didn't know that it was a, was a thing. Yeah. And then uh, I did a temp track for somebody at uh, at the local PBS station. This was back when movies were just track. getting sound, right? This was this like was when talkies, talkies. Were, this was back when talkies were just becoming a thing, right? Darren, don't listen. It, thank you. It was right after the ice melted. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay. Giant ice age. That's what I thought. And, okay, good. Just checking. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, you know, I started doing theater and I got, and I got a commercial agent from doing a show and then uh, she became my manager for a while. And then I started to book commercial stuff and then. You know, I was doing another show and I got a, a little uh, children's theater tour out of that, which turned into a bunch of Renaissance. There's nothing I haven't done, man. Wait, wait, Renaissance wait. festival stuff. That's right. What? So my question is Beetlejuice wait, wait, wait. in Hollywood. I forgot about yes. this. So wait, so you did yeah, the Universal PBS Studios. track and how did that how did that turn into the voiceover? Like Oh, thing? it didn't. It didn't oh. go anywhere. It was oh. just a temp track. Got it. But that was my introduction to say, <gasps> Oh, I can hey, you know what? They actually pay people. Thing. To, they it. gave me like a hundred bucks or something to come nice. in and narrate yeah. this whole film. Nice. Uh, be, uh, because somebody that worked there knew me from a show, of course, mm. from doing a, a show, and uh, said, Oh, Darren's got a good voice. You should have him come in and do it. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> but it was really fun. Hey, you want to see Murray? Murray yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be brief because he'll probably yeah. Murray. Let's go, Murr. Hi, oh, buddy. Hi. Yeah, he's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. Hi, buddy. His legs are so long. He's a big old boy. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. old rescue boy. Hi, buddy. Okay, all right. Oh, dang. <laughs> Murr's like, that's enough. You are the same he as will. Gordy. Yeah. yeah. I got he a, will get me. I got a cat. Dad's got a cat. He'll kill you for real. Yeah, we got three dogs and one cat, and the cat rules the oh. house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I just, you know, I, I would fall into the next thing and the next thing and the next thing, and then I started, ended up working at Universal Studios, uh, doing a sound effects show, and then I moved over to the oh, Beetlejuice wow. show, and I moved over to the Flintstone show, and then moved back to the Beetlejuice show, and, uh, and other stuff, you know, and then got into voiceover, and that really took off. Mm. Uh, and just changed directions for a long time, and you know, it was, but it was the, I love to tell this because it was the animation work that got me back on camera because mm. I had pursued the on-camera work for a while and it didn't, it didn't go well, you know, it just didn't. And, uh, because of Scott Fellows, because of Scott Fellows and the, you know, and he was saying, Hey, I think, you know, I want you to do this pilot. So I went, okay, well, I should probably go get an agent then. And that was okay. That wasn't difficult to do, uh, fortunately. But, you know, look what happens, right? Yeah. Look what happens after that. And then I'm doing this other show and this other show. And and it's that snowball effect. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I have such can't a predict and you. Yeah. That, like, that's the story is it's I have such a hard time answering when people ask me that question of like advice to get in. Because like you said, like the easy answer is like, if you have that calling, just go it, and yeah. figure it out. But, You're not right. owed it. It's not mm -hmm. guaranteed. It might not ever happen. But mm -hmm. if you have it in you, each person's path is like Darren's story. It's it's weird and winding and different. Mm -hmm. And you're kind of maybe going to take something that you don't know is it. And it's going to lead to some other that's, thing or some person you meet. That's kind of exactly what Michelle Fellows was saying, was saying yeah. it, open, about that. Open. Yep. About it being is. open to things that could lead to things and just, just not saying no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of get on the There's path and start moving. Yeah, exactly. And if but, but if that if if that's your calling, we I, I I do think you have to go pursue it, right? I agree. Even if nothing happens, but at least you don't, you know, on the deathbed going, I should have been the ballerina. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, but when I was uh, sixteen, I got a fortune cookie. Um, I still have it. Oh, and it says it's a quote by Oliver Wendell Holmes. It says, "Every calling is great when greatly pursued." Mm. Mm. Okay, and I have passed that on to so many people, and yeah. let, let them know because and it, because it doesn't matter what that calling is, mm -hmm. mm. right? Whether it's a cook or a dishwasher or you know welder, it doesn't matter. It's if that's your calling and you pursue it to the best of your ability, 
how can you fail? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's great. It's a great calling. Even I love it. Because there's no such thing as, uh, here's some more wisdom for you. Man, listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we love it. We love it. On. Give us tips. I heard this recently. It's not that you can't get no satisfaction. It's that you can't keep no satisfaction. Because oh. everything is temporary and everything is, oh, that was a great moment. And this was a funny scene that we just did. And this is the thing. And then, so what? Now what? Wow. Hey, right? It was so good. I wrote it down. You know, it's mm -hmm. in my stuff that I read every day. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I think a lot of people are are just sort of uh, driven to pursue it. Right. I, I was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I was. And I knew yeah. I was not the best looking guy. I probably wasn't the funniest guy. I'm not the. You know, whatever, whatever. Not to whatever, us, Darren. You kind of are, us, actually. Darren. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're one of the most handsome and funniest. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Yep, the people understand no, that, too. No, you don't know. I would go to a commercial audition when I was in my 20s, right? And I'm trim and, you know, I'm all fit and stuff. And I'm like, and I just look around the room and go, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm not here. I know. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, yeah. that's a fuck part of... Now everything's on tape, but that, that's such a weird part of acting is like you walk into a room of 20 people who look kind of like you, but, but better. Yeah. <laughs> but way better. Yeah. But like, like astoundingly what the better. Fuck? What yeah. am I doing here? Damn. Uh, Put me in a lineup. I'm like in the middle. Yep. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why. So what it, my, my entire career is like 99.999% .999 comedy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because I can't. It's just like, no. He's not nearly pretty enough for this oh, wow. hey, or whatever it, it's, it is. It's what so, it's what book me Neds. <laughs> yes, exactly. I was the. Exactly. I'm like that's that me mediocre boy. Uh, that's bring Ned. Him back. Bring, him back. <laughs> bring mediocre that's boy. That, that's oh, Ned. That's that terribly average looking exactly. person. Uh, yes, <laughs> let's get him. Wow. Not ugly. <laughs> not shockingly handsome. Of, just but speaking of looks, y'all look fantastic, hey. and oh. I'm saying y'all now. Right. But I, oh, I, I have always said y'all yeah, because it's a great it's a great word. It's, it's a lovely word. Yeah, no, it works. Nerd. You know that. Yeah. So uh did you say you're a yeah, word you guys nerd? Look fantastic. Oh, you as well, yeah. man, for nice. real. Your Daniel, whole aura, everything. Daniel got a degree in linguistics. In linguistics, yes. Language. More syntax grammar than words per se. But Speak yeah. Spanish to him. But isn't that Hola, crazy? Darren. Okay, more than me, amigo mejor. I'm just saying oh. you're my greatest friend. Mejor amigo. <laughs> yeah, he, Yo te extraño mucho. We miss you so much, Darren. Oh. Si, y te amamos. Yeah. Lo siento. Lo siento mucho. <laughs> I feel it. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Daniel went and uh, and got a degree. Yeah. Yep, good old uh, university. Wow. Unlike the rest of us, am I right? I got sober. That's right. <laughs> I got nothing. No degree here. Nope, hey, nope. they got degrees in life. You do. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah, I have the... The, the school of easy not. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, the, I'm the school of super lucky knocks. <laughs> super lucky hey, knocks. Hey, kids, move to LA. I fell backwards, I fell backwards into voiceover, too. Yeah. A, I was doing improv, and a friend of mine was starting to do a lot of animated voiceover stuff. And he said, Darren, you got to do this. We've done improv together, right? So we're always doing different voices and things like this. And I knew about it, but whatever, right? And I said, yeah, 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 I'll pursue that. I was doing commercials and working at Universal at the time. And and then the same person uh, grabbed me again. But this time he actually grabbed me by the lapels. <laughs> this jacket, he grabbed me by the lapels and shoved me up against the wall. He said, I'm not saying you should do this. I'm telling you, you have to do this because you will kill, okay? So I went, okay. And I actually would talk to my agent who had a voiceover department at the time. And otherwise, you know. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know. I, mm. I don't know. If you hadn't yeah. accepted yeah. the All challenge. Right. All right, I got to be real. I need you to come do this. So there's um there's a weed store I go to, okay? It's well, where I go get my weed. Yes. Hold on. What is and this? Hold on. Just talk to us about hold segues. On. And there, no, no, right. no, this is, no, no, this is related. Okay, and okay. there is a security guard <laughs> who works at this weed store whose voice is just the deepest, butteriest. It's it's a Darren, Norin, uh, Darren Norris voice. So I need you to come and pin him against the wall and tell him. Do voiceover. What if you pin him against the wall and just hold Darren in his face via FaceTime? Yeah, right. yeah we could do that. Right? We could do a remote. One lapel. Um, okay, but uh, 
there, you know, and look, that's true. There's a lot of people with great pipes. Yeah. Right. Terrific pipes. Yeah. Doesn't make you an actor. Mm, that's doesn't true. Make you, that's true. Doesn't mean you can do a 30 second commercial in 30 seconds. That's or true. Good in 31.3. They say, can you shave a second and a half off? Yeah. And you intrinsically know how to do that. Facts. Doesn't mean. Facts. Yeah. 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 Uh, and there's a lot of people that can do a lot of different voices too, but it doesn't make you an actor. That's yeah. true. I always yeah. said to people, 100%. if you want to pursue this, be an actor first. I'm from the theater, ma'am. I'm from the theater and improv. And that's uh, my training. That's I mean, my, yeah. that was my love, my first love, you know? Yeah. Uh, and I'm kind of back to those roots now, which is so cool. Oh, that's so man. cool. So you got to go and I shoot know. that security guard's dreams down. Yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah. Instead, hold me yeah. the play. You don't, you don't do got this. it. Don't yeah. him. You're not him. <laughs> You're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy, pal. <laughs> do you find that? No, like... you do it, man. You go, you grab him by the balls and say, <laughs> I'll do it. Put, the, put a demo together. Put some, put just put some. Put the work. In. words on paper and record them and i'll take them in and yeah. you know mm -hmm. see what happens do you you never know do you find that just a whole other part of <laughs> yourself is fulfilled now that you are giving away what you know to like these kids firsthand at this school yeah, yeah. it's the craziest thing it really to is. like let the ego uh, kind of be in a back seat and to have so much joy watching other people that's mm, i mean yeah that's yeah. been my experience it's, it's yeah. astounding and that's what we're doing at the dance school the performing arts school and that's what i'm doing at the theater here I really feel like I'm teaching theater class, you know, because uh, it's not like they haven't done shows before, right? But they haven't worked with someone like me. It's like, because I'm so specific about the comedy, what we were talking about before, yeah. right? Yeah. How are we going to map this out? How yeah. are we going to do this, yeah. right? What's our plan? How are we going to execute wow. this? And that's what I'm bringing, yeah. Yeah. you know, and they're not used to it. Oh. Yeah. And it's so cool to see the lights go on and then see something that wasn't working at all, all of a sudden start to sing. Uh, and, you know, I get, I've gotten to perform out there, which is great fun. We do this musical review and uh, uh, it's been a, it's been a hoot, you know, it's just been, it's just been a hoot. Oh so, man. I so know you're cool. yes, That's a great question. So Thank much you. joy yeah. to so many cool. people's hearts. Like, Oh yeah. Isn't that such a fun part about comedy too, is people think it's just like, uh, and there is a version of comedy that's just like off the cuff. We we got it. It's just fu funny is funny. But man, yeah. people don't know. Yeah. Comedy is sometimes more difficult than drama because oh, yeah. it actually takes like timing, specificity. Yeah. If it doesn't work, you don't always know why, but it doesn't work. You know it doesn't work. So you have to get in there and figure out, all right, what's the beat? What's yeah. the, how do we do this? Like it actually takes some, yeah. some crafting. Um, that's so cool. Yeah, you get to does. teach these, these it does. It does. new actors uh, this. And sometimes it's a syllable, right? Mm. There's, there's just one too many syllables mm. in this sentence. Exactly. Or there's one too few. Exactly. Right? It can be that specific. Uh, it can be that specific. Yeah, yeah I do. Believe, I agree with you, man. I think it's a lot more difficult. Uh, but uh, because that's probably just because I can't access genuine emotion. <laughs> yeah. wait, so wait, wait, Darren. That, is, that has always been your thing. Darren, have you ever directed any TV? <laughs> no, 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 no. No? No, never. No. I'm just thinking what a cool experience I would have been if he, I, you just, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I you wanted to, all the you're, stuff. You're, that's a good question again, Lindsay. I wanted to direct an, an episodes of Ned's, yeah. right? They wouldn't let but you. even then I was like, you don't know what you're doing. No! No, no you would have experience. Oh, Dude, damn. No, you guys would have had fun. I would have had fun. Yeah. But we probably would have been like four months overdue. <laughs> <laughs> We're still not getting it. Man. It's like, wow. it's like never, never, never wow. again. No, not that Dude. guy. No, you are a great captain. It's a very tough job. Yeah. It's a, I mean, hats off to our directors. Too, mm -hmm. That is a tough job. Oh, yeah. Very tough. They talk about the prep work and getting... You know, working out the bits and working on all this stuff. So those guys work really hard, yeah. and I don't like to. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to have fun. That's it. No genuine emotion. Doesn't like to work hard. Thank. Voice Give over. Perfect. Career, right. Right. <laughs> uh, you might want to take your life. Oh. Uh, uh, yes, the the lazy guy who doesn't like to work. Uh, but I love to rehearse, as you guys know. Oh, you know, I love yeah. to rehearse, right? Because that's the fun. That's where we find the stuff, and that's where we find the little gems inside the, the stuff, and the little happy accidents that happen. And uh, yeah. so I'm I'm in Southeast Texas now, and I got a, an agent in Houston, and uh, I booked a very, very teeny teeny role in a Netflix movie on camera. Nice, nice. Right. Congrats. I don't know if I I could have been cut out. It's supposed to come out in November. I don't know. We'll see. Cool. But 
and I got to go to New Orleans to shoot it, mm. uh, which is one of my favorite cities and my favorite place. Absolutely. One of my best friends on the, in the, on Earth lives there. It was during COVID. They shut down for COVID, so I spent a week with him and his wife oh. and their nine-year-old kid, and we just hung out and played cribbage and just, you know, it was awesome. And oh, uh, nice. uh, But anyway, and if I was still in L.A., I would never have had – that wouldn't happen. Right, I wouldn't right. have the opportunity, mm -hmm. right? I wouldn't be the local hire guy or whatever. So that's, you know, different and really yeah. cool. That is uh, so super exciting. Yeah. Can you tell us what it's called yeah. or not? No, I don't think I got should. It. Got it. Yeah, yeah, fine. Got it. And I don't want to because if that you know, it's it, the what my little thing and it is so small it could easily get cut. Yeah, out. yeah. Got and it. I don't want to be the guy got that it. goes. Let's all go to the premiere. <laughs> that, <laughs> yes, that's great. That happened to me in this Jeffrey Dahmer project, this recent Jeffrey Dahmer monster project. Really? Like they kept my voice and everything, and then you just see like my chest, like as, <laughs> Wait, the, as the author. Yeah, dude. And did you tell everyone to go watch? I kind of told oh. everyone. Hey, yeah, I was teaching this like actors cap in Amsterdam. I'm like, yeah. Hey, you gotta watch it. It's gonna be awesome. It's starring this guy and this guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, painful. <laughs> Wait, what was that? They're like, hey, did that thing ever come out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. yeah, don't, yeah even, it was terrible. Don't watch it. <laughs> but that's that's so funny, man. Because even if they keep me in this movie, yeah. it could be the back of my head. Oh, it'd be like that. It it'd could like literally that. be the back of my yeah. head. Hey, but you'll hear me. Your yeah. voice is in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so cool, man. Um. So hey, thanks for being here. Hmm. Thanks for you. catching up oh. with us. I'm, I'm I'm so blown away by this. Yeah, I'm, us I'm too, thrilled. man. Like, uh, it was so great seeing you. Mm -hmm. So great seeing you. Yeah, if we can ever line up uh, when you you're in Scott LA, yeah, yeah, when you're ever in LA, LA sometime, it. it'd be so good to get you like in person and. You, we can get Scott Tullos and I on the same. Oh my yeah. god! We'll bring some boxing in gloves in person. <laughs> And just watch it turn into in fact, a fist fight. And then yeah. we'll just, just watch we'll, it turn we'll, into a bloody knockdown drag out. Yep. Uh, no holds barred. Here comes the blood fist fight. I, I got my money on, on Darren. And yeah. We're going to no, actually just throw No, him. that's the thing. Uh -oh. He'll kill me. Oh, yeah. He'll we're going to throw Devin but, in that mix. I'll too. finally get paid. All three versions yeah. of Scott, Scott slash Devin slash Darren. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're all yep. the same. They're and we'll just be. <laughs> Over here. Um, so you've already given, honestly, you've already given some great advice to the listeners, but every yeah. episode we like to wrap it up with uh, some life tip, some tip for adulthood uh, for our listeners. You've already kind of nailed it, but if you got another nugget of Darren Nor Norris wisdom. Mine it right out of you now. Wow. Mm -hmm. Don't put me on the spot. Yeah, Whatever no, we're going to need don't it. Put I, I tell you what, you know, uh, I got sober seven and a half years ago. Nice, right? congrats. And uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it, let's just say it was necessary. Yeah. <laughs> or I wouldn't be sitting here right now. Uh, and that's the toughest thing I've ever done, and it's the best thing I've ever done. Mm. So if you, if you have any sort of substance use problem, disorder, whatever you want to call it, man, get some help because you're worth it. Uh, that's, so that's, that's the first thing. And I, I do a that. lot Amen. of that today. Amen. I'm, I'm going to pick up a friend out of a rehab tomorrow. Yeah. You yeah. know, I'm really still involved in a lot of it and that's changed my life. So uh, awesome. but it's, um, so there's that, there's the quotes. Yeah. <laughs> those, are, those are so good. Dude, we're, we're, yeah. the we're and they're not mine, nice. but here's the thing. Anything that I say that might sound cooler, or wise or whatever, I didn't come up with it. Of course. Yeah. This is ancient people, you know, long since dead yeah. who figured this stuff out and they passed it on to us and we get to keep passing it on and passing it on and passing yeah. it on. The best <laughs> advice uh, that I think is, is just really simple and probably not, uh, not inspiring at all, but it's, you just have to keep going. You have to press on. You have to, you have to keep on keeping on. You have to keep on keeping one foot in front of the other. No feeling is forever. No emotion is forever. Whatever it is, even if it changes for the worst, it is going to change, you know? Uh, and, and if you do, if you're struggling with anything, you know, uh, get active, get active in your own rescue while you still can, hey. right? Because you are worth it. Mm. Uh, and it'll probably mean probably mean a lot of hard work and uh, the leaning on a lot of other people who are smarter and wiser than me. And that's what I've done, mm. you know. Uh, 
So yeah, there we go. There's my big big show. You know, Thank man. I wouldn't yeah. cry. Uh, Thank oh you. Man, man. Thank I, you so I'm much. I know you <laughs> avoid genuine emotion, but that was pretty close yes. to genuine emotion. That and we appreciate it. Wonderful. I have enjoyed the fruits of being sober as well. So I feel that. <gasps> no way, yes. Liz. No way. That's oh awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay. We, we, Lindsay and I are going to go on to another room and talk. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so we'll be over Please here. do. Okay. Please so. do. But it's okay, cool. so moving to okay. hear that because Very cool. that is also I'm so happy to my experience with, with, with the program and getting sober. So, yeah. 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 Sweet. Yeah. Okay. We got it. Yeah. We no, gotta we got to go. We got to leave now. Oh, genuine emotion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love you. Man. Yeah. No, I, man, I love oh, that you too. said it like. Literally, Lindsay, I know resonated with everything you just said. I did. I know our audience at home. Like, I know that's going to land with some people. So it's just oh, so yeah. cool. It's so cool to get to talk to you and, like, get to be adults now and know each other. I know. So yeah. weird. I'm, yeah. I'm so grateful for this podcast for so many things. Yes. Like us I, getting. Strange. I was forty, but I was still a kid. Yeah. Like, oh oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You you right. were not. And yeah. You I'm, were not one of the adults on the set. <laughs> no. <laughs> and now I've grown up. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh my Can't god. Can't you tell? <laughs> now you've oh. sort of grown up. <laughs> But still, you know, I mean, you're more mature than him at this point. <laughs> I'm doing a convention in Sacramento for a Fairly Odd Parents reunion, uh, April 7th, 8th, and 9th. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to because I haven't traveled at all. I haven't been anywhere. I haven't done anything, you know. So I get to do that. And uh, I think there was, when I got to town, because people recognize me, guess what from? Ned's Declassified School, oh. school hey, Survival. Hey, we like right? that. And you can see the sort of deer in the headlights look like, <laughs> You look like that guy. <laughs> you look just like that guy. Only, only really old. <laughs> they don't say that. They don't say that, no. but somebody did say it. Exactly somebody asked me, how, how many years ago was that show? And I tell them, all right? And then they go, what, what happened to you? <laughs> oh, my God. And I just say, uh, well, you know what? I, I stepped in a in a big pile of old age. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, mm -hmm. which is not true. It's not true. No, you look, you look you look you look incredible. Yeah. Like you I'm having a time of my life. Yeah. I'm, uh, you know, uh, I'm loving my. I'm literally. I have such a great life, man. Oh. Uh, yes, we're glad to hear that. And I get to do everything that I love to do for a living. Still, I get to do it for free. I get to give it away. Uh, awesome. You know, it's just. <laughs> Uh, if you hear good. me complaining at any point about anything, I'll fly to Texas me. and slap you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Maybe just give him a hug yeah. because he's obviously got some stuff on his shoulders. So I'll give you a help. hug, Lindsay. <laughs> okay. I'm slapping him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Um, we love you so much, man. You, I'm dude. so glad you're doing well. So my good. goodness. Yeah. Huge smile on my face. This is not the last time you're guesting this. No, we gotta have you back. We gotta have you back in person. I love us getting tips from our guests, man. Like because we hold you in such high esteem, high regard. This was awesome. Just hearing you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's great, man. I love you, Daniel and Lindsay. You know, you've had my heart forever, and you always will. And what's your name, Devin? Is that it? Whatever, From man. From the moment Didn't... I met you, man, it was on. It was on. It was on. <laughs> and it's still we on. Were... <sighs> it's still on, and we were friends before we were working together. I know, oh, man. Right? I know. Yeah. It's, and it's so ne cool. It's never been anything different than that. It's I know. It's so great. It's, it does me such a wonder to see you guys and get to do this. It's so crazy good. I almost missed this stuff. Man. I, yeah. Oh, I, know, I right? almost missed this stuff. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Almost. yeah. I'm so I could have missed this. Hmm. I know. Here, man. Here. Before it, you mean before you got sober? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I yeah. could have easily missed this. Yeah. We this. Here. I'm, so, here. I'm, I'm so, so here. happy you're here. I'm oh so gosh. glad you're here, yeah. man. So, yeah. so, so glad. It. You're yeah. such a light uh, in my life still. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah same. Thank you, like, buddy. Yeah, you, you gave me a shot of juice, <laughs> yeah. like energy that I'm going to be carrying. Like, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so we love uh, you, man. You you should have seen me. I was at the theater. I know I've got to wrap it up. Oh, yeah, no, I was good. at the theater. The phone comes on, right? I'm like painting something, right? I'm going to set or whatever it is, right? Which I'm not qualified to do, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I see what it is, and I swear I start levitating, oh! right? And I swear I start levitating, and I'm in this, in this, pot, this smile that will not go away oh, the man. whole time I'm talking with you and stuff like that. Yeah. Because that's, 
That's how much yeah. it is. That's how big it is. Yeah, uh, man. And yeah. that's not going to change either, man. Yep, I, so, I feel that too. Oh, I feel that too. That's so been grateful. one of my strongest emotions rewatching the Ned's show because some part of it's strange rewatching it. Yeah. But one of the strongest yeah. emotions is when I watch you and I working together. I really oh. like it. Hits. I'm like, man. I loved working with him. Like, loved it. Still love yeah. it. Still hits me, yep. man. There's that connection, man. Uh-huh. There's yep. that connection. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. So we love yeah. you, man. Well, good. Thanks yeah. for yeah, gracing that. us. Come uh, see us in person sometime. Rehearsals and all of it, and we can't wait to have you in studio. <laughs> yeah, brother. I will. I will. I love you guys. I love I you so it. much, I dude. You will. <laughs> see you soon. Yes. Peace. peace. Hasta luego. Hey, nice hey, episode, hey, guys. Hey, Great hey, job. Hey, Thank you for watching. Thank we love you. making this podcast. Yes. Thank you to our patrons who make our podcast possible. Thank you yes. for supporting us. Yes. These are our super, our super friends. friends. Yes. Top tier patrons, thank you for showing up. Yes. You get your name scrolled on our video. You are literally helping us make like our dream come true, the yes. dream of this podcast, yes. keeping it like, you keeping know. It alive. You're helping yeah. us sustain Stay, this. Staying in the flow of, yeah. you know, this cool energy. And you so. viewers at home, you can be one of our super friends. Yeah, go check out our Get Patreon, patreon.com right slash Ned's Pod. We got different tiers. We do a bunch of BTS live streams. It's a it's a crazy good time. And get your name put. And we can also make gold plaques that will settle down. You. Settle down. Settle That's down. A lot. We're not we're not manufacturing gold plaques. You know what time it is. Oh, what time is oh, it? Oh, you know what time it is. Super friends dance. Super friends dance. Super friends dance. dance. How do you do it with the? You turn and you pull. Super friends dance. Super friends dance. It's good. Uh, Love you. Thanks for being here. Be here next week. Subscribe, like, comment, share. We love you. Thanks so much for watching this episode of the Ned's Declassified Podcast Survival Guide. If you guys want some clips from the show, go on over to Podco's YouTube channel. And you can also support our Patreon for more weekly bonus content. Guys, know you want to see it. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.